And here we have one example of a Med Mediterranean Sea, which is known as the Mediterranean Sea, but technically it's called the Eurafrican Mediterranean Sea. Because as I said, there are other Mediterranean Seas. And this large map here shows you the depth distribution, where the darkest blue colors are water depth, total water depth exceeding 4,000 meters. Okay, you can see as deep as the as the uh, ambient oceans, the ambient Atlantic Ocean. So you have deeper basins in this region, show here with the mouse, deep regions and so. Okay, and the connection with the Atlantic Ocean is a very narrow region, a strait. It's also sh relatively shallow, known as the Strait of Gibraltar. And this is the key smuggler route for smugglers to paddle from northern Africa to Europe. It's a key region of smuggling. Okay? But this is also the reason why the, the Eurafrican Mediterranean Sea is more or less isolated from the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, it's constrained. The image above me shows you a little bit of the salinity structure in this region. Okay, now I told you before what is the average salinity of the oceans. It's something like 35 is the typical. Yeah, 35 in units of grams per kilogram, and nowadays we don't use units anymore. Okay, for salinity, we don't use units. We use units otherwise, but not for salinity. Okay, and if you look above me, in this, oh, my finger disappears. Oops, you can't see. But anyway, the numbers is 38. Okay, and the outflow, you can see 36. So it's hypersaline, we call it. It has a higher salinity. And what makes the water, what increases the salinity of the water is excess evaporation. And you can see the dense, high salinity water filling the deep basins of the Mediterranean Sea, but only if uh, part of that actually flows over the sill, I show you with the mouse, over the sill into the ambient uh, Atlantic Ocean, actually ends up at a depth of, of around a thousand meters. So this is the depth at which you can identify this water. If you measure the salinity profile, you see a salinity maximum at around a thousand meters. Okay, it's quite fascinating. The outflow triggers an inflow. This is a fundamental feature of semi-enclosed regions. Yeah, if your water moving out, it has to be replaced moving in and happens near the, near the surface. So there's Atlantic water sucked into the Mediterranean Sea in the surface layer. 